Tony Khan details why he agreed to not renew William Regal's AEW contract. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest and on today's video, we're gonna focus on Tony Khan's media call that he did ahead of Ring of Honor Final Battle in which he dives into what happened between AEW and William Regal. Take a look. Tony Khan made the decision to allow William Regal to return to WWE so that Regal could help train his son, NXT wrestler Charlie Dempsey. The AEW president revealed on a pre-Ring of Honor Final Battle media call on Monday that he had first learned Regal was hoping to return to WWE during what was a difficult time for the Khan family. Tony Khan's mother suffered two strokes and required an operation to remove a spot on her heart in the months following All Out. Khan was at home with his parents for his 40th birthday on October 10th when he received a call about Regal. Khan continued to say that Regal requested AEW not pick up the option year on his contract after the deal expired at the end of the year, saying, quote, Watch Monday Night Football at my parents' house with my parents. My mom was hooked up to a lot of machines, and I was just praying that my mom's surgery would go okay. That same night, I got a phone call. And it was saying that uh, William Regal had approached Mega, you know, and it was all very legitimate, valid stuff. Basically, he's got a son uh, who works in another wrestling promotion, and he really wanted uh, us at the end of the year when we had the option to renew his contract. He was asking that we would not, not nothing bad. He, you know, we're, we're having a great time working together, but that this is an opportunity for him to go back and work in these really uh, golden years of his career with his son and, and do things he likes to do coaching. Uh, and he's got friends that he would like to go back and coach with. And it's a very complex situation for AEW because uh, he's a huge part of what we're doing on screen and we really value him. And there's multiple storylines that he's involved in at this point. And um, as we were going to Toronto that week, um, obviously I had a lot on my mind and, um, after the, uh, second stroke, they found, uh, my mom had uh, a spot on her heart and, uh, my mom was asleep and, and I got a message from Regal and it was asking if we could talk. And I, you know, I made time to talk to him and I went out outside the hospital and, uh, so I'm sitting out on a park bench out in front of the Mayo Clinic on Sunday night. And we had this really long, good talk, and it was very positive. And he really had, I think, good intentions, I, I'd like to say, for why he wanted to go back. And it made a lot of sense to me that he would want to work with his son and be with his son. Frankly, the last thing I wanted to do at that moment was prevent any parent and any child, any son from being together. As I was sitting on a park bench at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, you know, while my mom was sleeping inside and recovering from a major operation. And uh, so I told him, you know, I, I do think, I don't know how we're going to do it yet. I'm going to have to do a lot of thinking. Uh, it's going to require more changes, but I also had to think about family. And given that's, you know, where I was at and where he was at, it, it made a lot of sense that we would try to accommodate him. Sitting there, you know, praying that my mom was going to be able to uh, recover from this major operation she just had that weekend. And given where I found myself and given where he was, it, I just thought it made sense maybe that I would not exercise that option here. So I said I would consider it and started working on changes. And it's basically another complete overhaul. Later that week, we had uh, Rampage live at Daly's Place in Jacksonville. And I sat with Regal for over 90 minutes in my office afterwards and this is probably the longest one-on-one -on -one in person talk I've ever had with him and you know we talked and I told him I'm, I'll make major sacrifices to this company to do the best thing for you and your family 
because this is a family first company wishing him the best and he knows I wish him the best and and we've had conversations even this week and you know I think he's grateful for what I did but also I know he enjoyed his time here and I've enjoyed the time with him and it's hard to see him go he also added I probably won't be able to facilitate every family reunion but I do try to make this a family first company and especially in this situation that's what we've done Tony Khan also said he was surprised to see Triple H's tweet with Regal's montage during WWE Survivor Series, given how accommodating AEW was to Regal's request. Some other tidbits from the media call included, Tony Khan said the future of Ring of Honor would be addressed Saturday and alluded to something being revealed about a weekly TV product after Final Battle. He did say he would be having less Ring of Honor TV on AEW TV following this week. And he also hinted at the AEW New Japan Ring of Honor relationship as something to ask about this Saturday. Well, what did you guys think of this story? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And do not forget to check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, here on F4W Online, where I'm live Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Bye, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, check out the previous episode of the latest by clicking on the screen.